Hello everyone. Today marks 79 years to the Quit India movement. I, Sarika Chaudhary from Signet Public School will be sharing few insights on Quit India movement. As far as the Indian freedom movement is considered, the month of August has witnessed many great events. One of the greatest episodes of the freedom struggle that ultimately led to the Indian independence is the Quit India movement. After being in the clutches of the British for centuries, all that the people of India wanted was immediate independence. Focusing on this ultimate aim, the Quit India movement was launched on August 8, 1942. Thousands of freedom fighters sacrificed their lives in this cause. As we now live in an independent nation, every year we commemorate the hardships and sacrifices made by our forefathers during the Quit India movement. We honor this day as Quit India Movement Day and the day is celebrated by paying tribute to freedom fighters with national integration speeches and other events. The Quit India Movement, also known as India August Movement or Bharat Chodo Andolan, was launched at the Bombay session of all the India Congress Committee by Mahatma Gandhi on August 8, 1942. The protest was initiated to demand an end to the British rule in India. Since the movement was held in August, it is also known as August Kranti or August Movement. The movement was started on August 9, 1942. And since then, the day is celebrated as August Kranti Divas. This event was led by Mahatma Gandhi to force Britishers out of the country and to ensure complete independence. The movement was officially announced and started near Gawalia Tank Maidan, also known as August Kranti Maidan in Bombay. While announcing this movement, Mahatma Gandhi gave the slogan, Do or Die, to all the people who were present in this movement. The significance behind this slogan was to either free the country or die in the attempt of doing so. So people from all over the nation followed this movement. The Quit India movement was further spread by the nationalist leaders like Ram Manohar Lohia, Aruna Asif Ali, Biju Patnayak, Sucheta Kriplani, etc., who operated this mission underground. The Quit India movement was a result of the failure of the Crips mission. Stafford Crips, a member of the war cabinet, was sent to India to resolve the issues of Indians. This decision was taken by the British to ensure support from Indians against the Japanese war. The proposal, however, did not guarantee complete freedom. Mahatma Gandhi said that the dominion status offered after the war by Stafford Cripps like a post-dated check that can be withdrawn from a failing bank. This proposal was immediately rejected by Congress since the mission failed. Stafford Cripps then went back to his country. The other reason was the rising tensions between the British and Japan due to World War II. Japan had acquired most of the Southeast countries, which were ruled by Britishers. They were then soon approaching India, for which Britishers needed support from Indians. The Governor General of British, Lord Lintithith Go, needed Indian soldiers to fight against Japan. However, the danger of attack on India was the main reason why Mahatma Gandhi, along with the other Congress leaders, wanted to force Britishers out of India. The reasons fell the mission of the Quit India movement. So on August 8, 1942, Mahatma Gandhi proposed the idea of the Quit India movement. The resolution was then passed by the Indian National Congress and the movement soon took place near Gawalia Tank Maidan in Bombay. Female nationalist Aruna Asif Ali 
hoisted the Indian flag on the Gawalia tank maidan after the resolution was passed. All the other major nationalist leaders, along with Mahatma Gandhi, announced this movement to all the people. Mahatma Gandhi gave the slogan of Do or Die to all the Indians who were present at the announcement of this event. There were phases of the Quit India movement. Phase one, it resulted in strikes, picketing, and boycotts. The workers sought their favor in this movement by not working in the factories. The Britishers soon arrested and jailed Mahatma Gandhi at the Aga Khan Palace. And the All India Congress was declared unlawful associations and bandit. The assembly of public meetings were prohibited. Gandhiji requested for non-violence movement once again in jail. In phase two, the peasants sought their support to this movement. The arrest of Gandhi and the Congress leaders led to mass demonstrations throughout India. Next, it became a terrorist movement. All the communication channels such as telegraph wires, poles, along with railway station, bridges, etc. were destructed. Along with this, the government offices were also attacked. So the British swiftly responded with mass detentions. In phase three, resulted in the formation of national and parallel governments in some parts like Balia, Sataya, Talmud, etc. Women in the Quit India movement. Gandhiji referred women as disciplined soldiers of Indian freedom. Usa Mehta set up a radio transmitter called the Voice of Freedom to disseminate information in Quit India movement. There was a position to quit India movement. Hindu Mahasabha and the Communist Party of India strongly opposed the quit India movement. The Muslim League opposed quit India movement. Many Indian businessmen were profiting from heavy war time and did not support quit India. The nationalists had very little international support and the lack of leadership was also there. The Quit India movement is one of the most important event in the history of Indian freedom struggle against British. Though the movement was unable to achieve freedom, but it succeeded to compel the British government to quit India. The British government also realizes that the time had come to quit India. Today is 79th anniversary of Quit India movement. So we all must pay our tribute for the freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives for the independence of the nation. Not only on a particular day, we must at all times be grateful for the freedom that they had gifted us. Take a moment to appreciate the freedom that we enjoy today and be forever thankful for all the sacrifices made on its path. Jai Hind.